Hello everyone, this is ZWO here and now we are going to introduce you how to use the AM5 mount, AM5 mount, ZWO DC40 carbon fiber tripod. The tripod package contains the tripod, lock grip, spreader plate, spikes, center 3 8 locking knob, tripod head plate, and weight bag. The AM5 mount package contains the mount, quick guide, PE curve report, hand controller, hand controller cable, M6 hex wrench, and M4 hex wrench. Install the mount on the tripod. Adjust the legs to get the height you need. Lock them, then attach the weight bag on legs. You may use some spikes with the tripod if the ground is slippery. Fix the head plate. Align the three mounting points to the holes of AM5 head. Use the hex wrench and three M6 screws to fix them. Put AM5 mount on the tripod. Turn off the secure lock, then screw in the center 3 8 locking knob to secure the mount head and tripod. In this step, please remember to keep the shorter screw part upwards. Then install the spreader plate and tighten the knob to complete the installation work. Install the telescope on the dovetail saddle plate. You are free to adjust the latitude scale and azimuth scale, and start polar alignment now. Just keep balance and watch over the weight of the telescope to avoid your setup from rolling over in certain directions. Adjust the latitude scale and azimuth scale. The AM5 mount has two gears allowing you to adjust the latitude scale. How to shift from gear 1 to gear 2? It can be very simple actually. First loosen the tension grips on both sides, then rotate the altitude adjustment grip clockwise till it's 20 degrees in latitude scale. You'll see the hex screws clearly from the holes on both sides at this time. The default mode for the AM5 mount is equatorial mode, which means the latitude scale normally lies between 0 degrees and 60 degrees. Then use the hex wrench to anti-clockwise loosen the two hex screws on both sides of the mount. Pull the mount head until you see the two hex screws are sliding to the bottom place of the inner sideway. Don't forget to re-tighten the hex screws on both sides after the above steps are done. Keep rotate the altitude adjustment grip in clockwise direction to set the altitude scale from 45 degrees to 90 degrees. Then tighten the tension grip. And how to adjust the azimuth scale. Loosen the azimuth lock, then rotate the azimuth adjusting knob. Don't forget to re-lock it up once you complete the adjusting work. Control the mount with the hand controller. Find the cable in the box to connect hand controller to the HC interface of AM5 mount. The directions controlling rocker can also be used as a button to switch between high tracking speed and low tracking speed. This is the tracking button, press it to start tracking or cancel tracking. This is the cancel button, press it to cancel go to another functions. Long press for 3 seconds, the mount will slew to zero position. Control the mount with your phone. Keep your eyes on the light indicator after you power the mount. If it keeps red for the first 5 seconds then it means the mount is in equatorial mode. If it displays green, then the mount is in azimuth mode. The light indicator will flash red and green in turn if you don't sync the local time and coordinate information after the first 5 seconds, which means you cannot go to targets or do other things in this case. So remember to connect the mount to the AM5 app to automatically sync time and coordinates. Search a C mount on App Store or Google Play or scan the QR codes on the packing box of AM5 mount to download the app. Wirelessly connect to the mount, open app, and find the mount setting and target FOF setting panels to configure all information. You may press the magnifying glass icon to select the targets you plan to capture tonight, and then go to targets, and even see the working status in the integrated star database Sky Atlas. Switching equatorial or azimuth mode. When the power for mount is off, long press the cancel button to activate the mount again along with the switch function. To enter azimuth mode, do not loosen your finger from the cancel button until the light indicator turns green. Then adjust the latitude scale to 90 degrees. To enter the equatorial mode, long press the cancel button when power is off. Meanwhile press the power switch button. It will work when the light indicator displays red. 